My mom cooked dinner. Dinner was cooked by my mom. Both of these sentences are correct, but correct doesn't always mean natural. Do you know why? English has two kinds of sentences, active and passive. These are also known as active voice and passive voice. In this English lesson, I'm going to show you what active and passive sentences are and, most importantly, how we use them. The key point is the how, and it may be different than what you think. Let's study together. Thank you so much for joining me for this lesson on active and passive sentences. Let's dive right in. The active sentence or the active voice shows who is doing the action. Who is the key point? Jenny cooked dinner last night. What's the action? Cooked. Who did the action? Jenny. Jenny cooked dinner last night. Because of construction, the police will close the road at 5 p.m. The action? Will close. Who's doing the action? The police. On the other hand, the passive voice focuses on the result of the action. With the passive voice, we often don't mention who did the action for two reasons. Either the result of the action is more important than who did it, or we don't know or care who did the action. As you've probably studied back in school, the passive voice is formed with the be verb followed by the past participle verb. The road was closed at 5 p.m. yesterday. Here in New York, the Empire State Building was built in 1929. That's the basics of what the active and passive voices are. And now, let's take a look at how they are used. In everyday English conversation, we prefer to use an active voice whenever we know who we're talking about especially if that's somebody that we know personally. Last night, my mom cooked dinner. I could say that last night, dinner was cooked by my mom. But that is not a natural sentence for everyday English conversation. We prefer to use an active voice when we talk about people. Yes, 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 but how do we use the passive voice? First of all, we use the passive voice when we talk about a process, especially the result of that process. You may not know this, but apples are grown in New York State. In the computer, the data is passed from the database to the server along the network. I think that's how it goes. We also use the passive voice when we talk about the result of an action. Again, we use the passive voice either when we don't know who did the action exactly or when the outcome of the action is more important than who did it. When I opened the refrigerator this morning, I realized that all of the cheese was eaten last night. When I woke up this morning, I realized that my bicycle was stolen. It's also possible to use the passive voice with by when we want to include the person or the agent who does the action. Using the passive with by this way is very formal sounding and is quite often used in written English. Many nice carpets are produced in Turkey by skilled craftsmen. Let It Be was written in 1968 by Paul McCartney. Let's compare. My sister cooked dinner last night. Dinner was cooked by my sister. That just doesn't sound natural to me. The marketing department will be holding a meeting at 3 p.m. Yes, and also a meeting will be held by the marketing department at 3 p.m. That sounds very formal. In everyday English conversation, when you're talking about the actions of people, especially people that you know, it's more natural to use an active sentence. Last night, my mom cooked dinner. 
when you're talking about a situation that doesn't necessarily involve people, that's when you can use the passive voice. These pens are imported. Keep in mind, the best way to practice anything that you study, including this language, is to write a couple of sentences that are true for you or true in your world and then study your sentences. Better yet, why not take some of your sentences and write them in the comments below? I would love to see your examples. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Remember to leave your comments below, and I'll catch you guys next time right here at Happy English. Catch you later.